Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I really like this project because it connects careers with students and robots. So today's video is going to be about a bomb disposal project. So the students will have to build a robot that will be able to retrieve a bomb. I'm not sure if they'll have to utilize their medium motor. They might be able to navigate it where the robot just kind of picks it up or drags it. It's going to be a little tough, but they're going to have to maneuver through a warehouse where the bomb is and safely take it out. So today what I want to do is show you how I built the setup, which obviously you guys can do yourselves, but then definitely show you how the students will navigate picking up the bomb and taking it out of the warehouse. Obviously, this is not for real. They're using our classroom and a classroom table and a design to build all of this and be able to maneuver their robot to do this job. So if you guys want to see this project, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Okay, guys, so here's what you're going to need. A robot, I don't care, EV3, Spike Prime, whatever you guys have. Some type of design where you can design where you want the robot to go, a place where you're going to put the bomb, you know, a fake one, and then how to maneuver the robot to be able to safely take it out and keep people safe. And then definitely be able to tie this into careers where students can go, oh, I could possibly have a career in this one day where I could use robots for law enforcement, for military, for whatever purpose a robot, you know, you want to just have them explore the possibilities. So today what I want to do is start off on the table and show you the design that I had two students help me with the design of the warehouse where we're going to put the bomb and then the, the course and then just show you an example of how this will look if your students can have a commander app where they can control their robot Programming this is going to be really tough because I have a ramp in the front and the wheels might, you know, it might have a hard time getting up. So I have them control the robot with their phone to be able to kind of navigate it because that's kind of what the law enforcement or military robots do too. They, you know, they're controlling it like that. And then today, definitely just give you a big overview and picture about how this looks. So let's go to the table. Okay, day one of construction. I have these shelvings that I don't need anymore. So we have our swept away table here. And I have the shelving just to provide this platform here. So we will, I have two of these shelvings, one here and one underneath this cardboard. So we're gonna have a multi-level bomb disposal project here. So I'm trying to get this piece right here to be the ramp so the robot's going to go up the ramp here and basically be on a second level here and I had some students let me come on over here and show you the design they wanted I wanted to involve these students here in the design so so they want the start and here's where the ramp is going to be right here so they want the robot to come up the ramp and let me turn it here so you can actually see. So they'll want the robot to go this way, make a turn, come down here, go that way, pick up the bomb right around there, and then basically head back down the ramp and safely dispose of this bomb. So this is gonna be a cool design it's just a matter of getting all the layout here and then we'll put up obviously some partitions, dividers here so that the robot just knows the path. And so the students are gonna to have to figure out the size of this layout so they don't make their robot too big. And they're gonna to have to put something on their robot to be able to grab this bomb and be able to pull it out of this building. So this is so exciting and cool. And I can't wait to show you guys the finished result, but. I'll take you guys through the steps as we continue to build this. Okay, so it's done, you guys. The bomb disposal warehouse. So here is the task or the objective here. The robot will start here. I guess I should make a starting area. The robot will go up this ramp, make a left, 
go through this maneuver through here. I'm gonna to have to have their partner make sure their robot doesn't go off the table. The robot will make its way over here. I don't know what the, I had a team design this and I don't know what they wanted there. I think they wanted just like a obstacle. So the robot will come here. Here is the bomb that they have to dispose of. So the robot will grab that bomb. I had to put a wall right there. I had some students go, hey, can we just grab it from over there? I'm like, no, let me put a wall there so they have to go through the course. And so the robot will just maneuver its way back through the course, take it down to the ramp, and I guess I should make a starting area and a bomb disposal area just so that the team knows they were successful. So it's a really cool project because they got the students will get to know, hey, what is it like to try to use a robot to do a job? And, you know, they need to know the job will keep people safe. It'll keep themselves safe. And it's just a neat way to know that there's careers out there with police, military that do, you know, these type jobs every day. So it's a really cool project. Let's go ahead and show you a robot that will demonstrate this. And release it off your bottom. Get him back up. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay guys, so hopefully you like that project. It's really cool to be able to have the students put together what they know about building and controlling their robot to put it all together into this project. So this would be a very cool culminating activity for those of you that teach robotics to put a lot of the things that you instill in your students, you know, how to use a media motor to grab something, navigate it with their phone, and be able to tie that together with maybe videos that you show of the military or law enforcement so they can put together what they're seeing in the real world right here in the classroom. So hopefully you guys like it. Give me uh, some comments in the comment section if you have any ideas, tips. If you guys did this, how did it go? And hopefully you enjoy it. Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Missile's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Okay.
Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.